You're watching your local television network, TSPN, and now back to the Game of the Week on our sports show. This week's game, the Lady Linden Lions battle the Argonaut Lady Stangs. It's Mother Load League Basketball at Argonaut High School with sportscasters Jim Vincent Guerra and Chris Lucky. Our cameraman tonight is Tommy Fox. And now, back to the Game of the Week on TSPN. We're back at it here, Chris. Here we go. Uh, you can hey, you know them all. Introduce them all. You got probably have them all in class. Okay. All well, right. Well, I'll, I'll tell Sorry. you. First stop, they're they're going to introduce the Somerville Bears uh, starting lineup. Um, from what I've been told, one of the top players from Somerville is not is out of the lineup with a rotator cuff injury. That's senior Bella Bactel won't be playing today because of a of a rotator cuff injury, but. Starting lineup for the Bears, number 10, junior Raquel Riva. Uh, number 12, senior guard Ashley Gamber. Number 22, Krista Calkins. Uh, we've got Krista Calkins, number 22 for the Bears, uh, another senior. And number 25, senior forward, Taylor Leslie. And number 25, there's Taylor Leslie, a uh, senior. And finally, and number 30, a junior, Katie forward, Ager. That'll round up the round out the Somerville Bears starting lineup. Starting lineup for the Mustangs, number three, junior center. And now for the uh, undefeated Argonaut Mustangs, we've got Kate Sudden, junior forward. Uh, expect Kate to really get underneath there and get a lot of rebounds for the Mustangs. Really a solid player underneath. And then there's point guard Kara Tortorich, another junior for the Mustangs. Great outside shooter, great defender. Uh, number 12, Carissa Cabri starts uh, in the in the backcourt for the Mustangs. Um, very quick and should be a, should be slashing to the basket quite often, scoring some points for us. Uh, and there's number 22, Kobe Pettis, junior junior forward. Just will will do a wonderful job underneath for us. And finally, the captain and, and probably the uh, the the floor leader for the Mustangs, the only senior starter. Uh, Morgan Roots, number 24. And Morgan's been a starter for what, three years? Three years yeah. starter, yeah. Actually, her freshman year, she came up and played that game in Arco Arena when uh, That's right. That's Alyssa right. Cabri yeah. injured herself at Toke. Played right. a, did a great job as a freshman. Okay, so they're getting a little pep talk here. Mel's got a little hitch in his get along tonight. I don't know. Must be the knees going out. He's pretty <laughs> old. You know what? He's a heck of a lot older than I am. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell anybody. He I, thinks he thinks he's as young as me, but he isn't. I know somebody that right here that actually played for him. Oh, yeah, you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I played played basketball for Mel back at uh, Jackson High School. Mel's an old Ione High grad. Yeah. In aught seven. Anyway, uh, Mustangs <laughs> ready to go here tonight, riding a 23-game win streak. Put it this way, folks. They haven't tasted defeat all season, so. Hoping to make it 24. Yeah, for the tip-off, we got Kate Sutton for the Mustangs. Uh, and, and it looks like uh, number 30, Katie Yeager, for the Bears. Hey, Sutton uh, gets the tip and goes Mustangs' way. Yeah, and that's Morgan Roots bringing the ball up for the Mustangs. Bears are in a 2-3 zone. Roots, 3 Back iron. Good look at the shot. Cabri catches the rebound and goes in, drives for the basket. Now, who do you think is the quickest one on the, this Argonaut team? Is it Dorderich, as far as quickness goes? You know, you got a lot of speed I, between I, Dorderich and Cabri. Yeah. Um, I, they're both super fast. I, 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 in the in the distance, it would be, have to be you Carissa. You know, talking She's to Mel before the game, I, I said, well, who do you go to? He says, any five I want to. Yeah. You know, they can all score at will, yep. and they aren't selfish about it. So, anyway, a lot of misses underneath here by the, yeah. by the yeah, Bears. Yeah, Ashley Gamber got a nice putback opportunity, just fell a little short. You'll notice the Mustangs really move the ball well. Nice little shot by Pettis, just falls off. Rebound goes to number 10, Raquel Riva. Uh oh, nobody there. Mustang ball. Mustang ball. Well, one of one of Argonauts' uh, 
major for the, one of their fortes is how well they play defense. They're going to harass the ball with one, most of the time, two players at all times. Well, as you said at the start of the show, uh, Chris, there are not a lot of points scored on the Mustangs, and mm -hmm. most of the games are 20, 30, 40 point game differences. Yep. Tortorich just off on her shot, but a nice little steal Whoa. by Cabry and then pass to Tortorich for two. Assist Cabry. Tortorich was way underneath that basket and pulled it out. Mustangs right now are in a man-to-man, -man and they will double-team. When somebody dribbles towards you, you'll watch them jump that dribbler. Turnover, Mustangs get the ball again. Pettis with a nice breakaway to Cabri. Cabri, two. Mustangs up, 6 nothing. 5.45 to go in the first quarter. Another turnover, Mustangs ball. Pettis gets that one. Oh! Wow, wow, nice fast break. Morgan Pettis. roots to Kara Tortorich. Good reverse layup. Right now, the Bears just do not have an answer for the defensive pressure. It's an air ball there. Again, Pettis with the rebound. And Cabri brings the ball up. And I like that battle underneath be between Sudan and uh, Agus. Agar. You'll, you'll watch, you'll watch Sudan really box out well, seal off. And now, Sudan is a junior? She's a junior, Okay. Yeah. Cabri had a nice look at a basket, just fell a little short. Three-point attempt by number 22 for the Bears, Krista Calkins, rebounded by Sudan. That 2-3 zone really slows the Mustangs' yeah. offense down. Way in the air. Uh, Nice shot. Morgan and Roots for three. Goes as high as it does far. Looks like a bomb coming out of the air there, but right through the hoop. You know, but she had a long time to set up for that one. There's not much defensive pressure out on the perimeter, and it, it, once the Mustangs start hitting their outside shots, this game could get uglier. Now, you know what's going around at the Argonaut High School now. Roots is going to Stanislaus. Stanislaus correct? State, okay. yes. yes. And she's going to play ball with uh, the the... Twins. With the Goaty Twins, Goaty twins. and okay. Alyssa Cabries down okay. there. So, so uh, Stanislaus has a grip on the Mustangs, I guess. Yeah. You know, that was a, that was another pass out to that left wing that is being left wide open. Tortorich took a look, but um, I think wisely passed it up early in the shot clock. Um, but expect her to take this shot. So we have uh, gonna first foul of the game here. Yeah, that's on number 12, um, oh, that's Ashley Gamber. Nice little seal off on the back door by Sudan. Two for the Mustangs. Number Number 10, Raquel Riva, sh throws up a shot with two people in her face. It's well, tough you know, to get up a good shot against this defense. Blocking foul there. It's going to put uh, Pettis at the line. So far, their shooting percentage for Somerville is uh, zero. Yeah. You know, 13 zip right now if you're looking at that clock. 321 left in the first quarter. If you're just joining us, TSPN's Game of the Week, 25th year. Uh, Coach Lucky from Argonaut High School helping us out tonight with... Uh, the uh, Argonaut girls versus Somerville. I think that's Kobe's first points of the game. You know the Bears came into into Jackson a couple weeks ago, and the Mustangs handed them a 46 to six defeat. I mean, they must have <laughs> scored in this gym. I 
I, I can't believe scoring six points. It, you know, I, it's it's funny. Yeah, it's you know, but when this defense gets in your head, it's tough to get any kind of continuity offensively. I mean, now they're in a uh, a one-two-two two trapping zone. Zone, yeah. Yeah, but you watch their movement and the action they have on that zone, and then you come down and watch Somerville zone. Oops. All right, Pettis comes out, suiting in. And with that timeout, we're going to take a commercial break. We're going to be right back. 15 zip, Mustangs on top. All right, we're back. 15 zip, Mustangs on top here. Motherload uh, League action, the third go round in this league play. A couple more games for the Mustangs, and then it's on to the playoffs. So we're back at you. Bears will inbound the ball, looking for the first points of the quarter. Mustangs change their defense up. Back to a man-to-man. -man. And the and shot clock has expired on the Bears. A little bit too much time. Entering the game for the Bears is number 25, Taylor Leslie. Okay, Skinner getting ready to check in here. Mustangs running a perimeter passing game to hit the inside. That's Kate Suden off of the pass from Morgan Roots. I think that's four points for Kate. It's a three Whoa, point Whoa, swish, 22. Krista Calkins puts the Bears on board. They, they called that a two. Oh, they did? Okay. I thought it was a three, two, Jim. Looked like it. We got a better angle than they do. At least that's, w at least that's what we think. Yeah, we know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, into the game, first time we've mentioned her name yeah. is Autumn Kramer, sophomore guard. Um, the lone underclassman on the Mustangs. Whoa, steal, Tortorich, possession, Tortorich. Morgan Roots brings it up quickly. And I think Kate thought that uh, she had a clear, uh, clear lane to the to the basket on that one, and turned right into the Somerville defender. Kara Tortorich runs down that rebound. Uh, well, there's a errant pass there, and this is Ashley Gamber. Oh, over the back. There it is. Number 12 gets nailed for the foul. Well, that's a case where you make a good steal and you should just take the ball right to the basket, not pull up. I mean, pull it, up and try to get a foul or maybe a three point yeah, shot. Yeah, worst case scenario, Cabri will have to foul you. Yeah, take the two and get away. Yep. Into the so, game. So, Ariel Skinner down there taking it out. Yeah, and also into the game is number 11, Madison Pace, and number 13, Jordan Gold. Seventeen to two right now. Uh, under a minute left in the first quarter. That was a long one. Looked like maybe. Looked like maybe uh, Bobby Devoto maybe got a hand on that shot by Tortorich to kind of make it come up short. There's another two by 22. Number Calkins. 22, Krista Calkins. Has all must all the Bears points tonight. Tortorich bringing the ball up, checking out the defense. Little runner by, uh, that was Tortorich, I think. Yeah, that was. And then a uh, nice little rebound by Autumn Kramer. I tell you, that Calkins underneath, she's a go -getter. She just hits the dirt, but I mean, she's tough. Shortest girl out there on the floor, too, Jim. I know. I like those. <laughs> that may be a little bit taller than her, just a little bit, I think, but, uh, you know. So well, she'll step to the line to try to add to her point total. It's just not as far to fall to the ground, that's all. I guess. Yeah. Nope. Well, I tell you, Chris, this is uh, two more points, and they've matched last game's uh, total. And they might yeah, get out of it in the first quarter here. We'll see. You know, that had to just be a uh, just anomaly a for them. 
Tony and was that six at points. Somerville? No, that was here. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, in Somerville, it, uh, Mustangs 30. doubled them up, 61-30. Yeah. So we're down to the end of the first quarter. See if the Mustangs can get a decent shot to end this quarter. Oh. And uh, again, nice little move by Tortorich on that baseline drive. And at the end of the first quarter, 17-5, Mustangs way out in front. Stay tuned, we're coming back with second quarter action.